hi everyone welcome to my channel please subscribe and like and share the video okay let's start with today's topic today we are going to discuss one of uh, more Hadoop interview question uh, actually it is related to both spark and Hadoop so today's question is why is spark better than Hadoop why do people uh, want to move to uh, spark these days instead of you know working on Hadoop uh, related uh, processing engines okay so spark is better than Hadoop when it comes to processing data in a uh, lot of scenarios so one of the major scenarios is uh, iterative algorithms uh, assume a scenario where a single data frame a single data set is being used multiple times in uh, you're using it multiple times to process the data and create new results so in those scenarios you uh, will find out that spark is better because spark has caching capabilities it can cache the data and uh, uh, you know give you far met, uh, far more uh, better results as compared to hadoop one other major reason is uh, you know if there is a, a iterative, iterative algorithm that you are uh, uh, building or using on uh, on Hadoop, uh, for example, if the algorithm is k-means, or if you are doing uh, shortest path finding uh, algorithm on Hadoop, if you are coding that, uh, then you will find out that uh, you have to do multiple passes on. It's the iterative kind of problem, and you have to do multiple passes on the data. So every time, uh, every iteration uses previous iterations output. So in these kind of scenarios, uh, the way MapReduce and Hadoop is designed is that uh, you will finish one pass, you will finish one pass in single iteration of MapReduce program, and then uh, you will write the results on HDFS, and then the next iteration will happen as part of next MapReduce job. So every time to complete one iteration, you are writing uh, data on hard disk and then reading it in next map release job this slows down the process uh, uh, you know because you have to read data again from hard disk plus you have to kill the JVM and start the JVM again for next map reduce job spark optimizes it so spark what it does it makes a lineage of jobs uh, once one one stage finishes the data of that is taken by another once one task finishes the data of that task is taken by the next task so what happens here is that uh, uh, the data is already in RAM it is not being written to hard disk so the next task can easily pick up the data from RAM and it the performance becomes very fast and uh, executors are not killed for every stage or every task uh, all the executors are reused only thing that keeps on changing is the threads to uh, execute the tasks next set of tasks which are in the pipeline so there is no killing of JVM and starting of JVM in case of spark whereas in uh, if your algorithm is iterative for each iteration map is killing a JVM mapper and reducer and then starting new mapper and reducer to run the next iteration as part of next map reduce job so this gives huge performance boost in case of spark you know you you, you will experience huge uh, uh, performance as compared to you know traditional map reduce jobs moreover uh, you know developers like uh, spark because uh, you know the because scala and python from syntax perspective are very compact amount of code that we have to write to uh, you know do a word count or do uh, any kind of general operation you know joining a table uh, with another table or uh, doing a group by operation amount of code that we have to write in spark is very less as compared to if you try to do the same operation in MapReduce so uh, this is actually what is making spark better than Hadoop I hope I answered this question if you have any doubt please post your comments on uh, our comment section please feel free to share this video with your friends and also subscribe my channel thanks for watching this video